For this demonstration, I'm gonna go through tabletop mono printing. The first step is to get a bench hook and to get out whatever colors you're going to use. I've got a deep blue and a white. I have a different spoon for each color so that I'm not mixing those colors in the jars. Then I'm going to take my brayer and I'll pull down some of that color until my brayer is coated all the way around. The brayer is coated in ink. The next step is masking out your area. So this is my paper that I'm going to print on. I'm going to mask out a slightly smaller area than my paper. There. Look at that. Ooh, la, la. Now I'm going to take that brayer and I'm going to paint inside and on top of that square that I created with my masking tape. Now what you're going to use is Q-tips and you're going to draw a design quickly. I'm going really simple with this. As I use up the Q-tips, I'm just going to set them aside. Later on, I will throw them in the trash. It's already started to dry right there. So if you get a spray bottle and you make sure it's on spray, not stream, so it should be a mist when you spray it, you can spray your picture to keep it so that you can still print from it. Because if you print from when it's totally dry like that, it's just not gonna work. Before I actually print, now I've drawn my picture, I'm ready to print, and I need to pull that masking tape off. I'm just going to give you a border. And then you're going to lay your paper on top. You're going to use an, a fresh brayer, a, a brayer that is not dirty. And voila, I have printed a mono print. You can see where the larger drops of water, they've kind of messed with my print, but oh well. Let's try it again. Now it's time to clean up all your mess, throw away your tape, make sure your name is on your paper.